Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching. I am your host, Q the Rider. And in today's episode, I'm gonna do a quick review of the toolkit that I bought for my 2022 Harley Davidson Street Glide. This is the Cruise Tools Toolkit, and it's specifically uh, put together for Harley Davidson motorcycles. Now, Cruise Tools also makes toolkits for metric bikes. There's also one that I saw on Amazon for uh, BMW bikes as well. Uh, so this is a very well thought out toolkit. So we're gonna go over it and I'm gonna show you everything that's in here. And we're also gonna take a look, we're gonna talk about the cost and we'll talk about how I've used this toolkit as well as I'm gonna do a comparison for you because I've done taken the time to research what it would cost to put together this toolkit on your own without buying a prepackaged kit like this. Now on the box, it gives you a list of everything that's in here. It's pretty straightforward. There are no proprietary tools in here. It has tools like a uh, crescent wrench. You have uh, five different uh, wrenches that close, are boxed on one end, open on the other. You have uh, locking pliers, you have a screwdriver, a, a tire pressure gauge, a variety of, of Allen wrenches and hex bits, as well as a small socket set, spark plug socket, a spark plug gap, got zip ties, some wire, as well as the all encompassing duct tape in case everything else fails. So let's take a quick look at what's in the box. And there's nothing to it. You've got your tool case bag. And this is what I really like about it. It's very neat and organized. You won't have tools clanging around in your saddle bag making a mess. And when you're on the side of the road or a gas station or whatever and you need to tighten something up, you roll out your toolkit and everything is right here in place. Again, this is what I like about this toolkit. Again, everything is here, it's, it's organized very well, and it's all of the tools that you'll need for any kind of basic maintenance or a basic repair that you might need to do while you're out on the road on your Harley Davidson. I would say that the items that I use the most are probably the, uh, uh, the socket set, I have gone, they give you this tiny little tube of a uh, thread lock. There's not much in here. And once you use this up, I don't know where to buy a thread lock this small. <laughs> so this is the only real issue here. Um, if there is an issue at all, you know, now I'm not a hundred percent sure what anybody would do with duct tape on a motorcycle. I've never tried it before. Um, you know, duct tape is a good catch-all for fixing things, but I don't know. I don't get it. I, I wouldn't use it on a motorcycle myself, but you have it just in case maybe you need to secure something or tie it down. But the rest of the tools are, are the basic tools that you're going to need for pretty much any minor incident that you have while you're out riding. Now, is there anything proprietary in here? No, there's not. You could put this toolkit together yourself. Maybe you already have extra tools and you could put it together which is fine, or maybe you want to just put together your own uh, toolkit and instead of buying a prepackaged unit like this. And there is a cost difference. So the cost of purchasing uh, this toolkit on Amazon is $115.23. And again, you could put this together yourself. Uh, and if you try to buy the individual tools on Amazon, and I looked at their cheapest tools that they had, which is not always the best thing to do, but if you tried to put together a kit yourself, the lowest cost you could put that kit together for to match this is a little north of $170. And again, that would include a roll-up bag. And I'll include a list of all of those items uh, in the description section of the video in case you decide that you want to put together a more in-depth or add more to it. Uh, in fact, I've added more tools to my toolkit that I bought for my Road Glide. And I'll show that to you real quick. I keep them in the saddlebag. And as you can see, it's got a little wear and tear on it. Now, the reason I, went, I bought a second one is that I've just discovered having two motorcycles. There's times when I would leave and I'd leave without my toolkit, or it would be in one bike when I need it in the other. So I just decided to buy a separate toolkit because I've used it so much. It's come in handy so many times, either from my bike or helping out a friend that I want one for both of my motorcycles because I just don't want to be stuck somewhere when all I need is a basic wrench. Uh, just to give you an idea of some of the things I've used this toolkit for, I've had my highway pegs come a little bit loose while I was riding. 
I was several hundred miles from home and all I needed was a simple Allen wrench. Took care of the problem. I have also had a, let's see, oh, I hit a set of railroad tracks pretty damn hard on my bike and my handlebars moved. So that was no good. So, <laughs> it was kind of awful thing. So I actually I fixed that on the road uh, with my toolkit here. Um, I've used this toolkit occasionally when I do oil changes on my bike in my garage just because it's convenient. I've also used it to tighten battery terminals uh, on my motorcycle that had shaken loose. It's something that you should check on a, uh, on a regular basis. I didn't do it. My battery terminal came loose, bike wouldn't start. Took the seat off, which you got your screwdriver for, and then I tightened up the battery terminal and everything that you need is here to do basic maintenance items like that. And that's why having your own toolkit is important. Even if you're not someone who likes to wrench on your bike, if you ride, if you love riding and you're out on the road, you need something like this. All right. Well, that's all I have. Again, if you decide that you want to buy this toolkit, it is available on Amazon in the description section of this video. I will include an affiliate link. If you buy it using my affiliate link, it will not cost you an additional dime, but it does provide a small commission uh, to the channel and I would appreciate you supporting the channel by doing that. Alright, this is Q. I'm riding, I'm wrenching, and I am out.